What is up, everybody? Welcome to another fresh take. Mr. T, how you doing, man? Hey there, boos. What's going on, man? All right. So I know I'm a little late to the party, but I've been learning how to use Premiere Pro. So y'all just gonna have to deal with me for a little bit while I'm while I am late to for some things. But DC fandom last weekend, they had their digital event because there was no uh, San Diego Comic Con this year. So we missed out on a lot of uh normal stuff that we would normally get. So everybody's doing their digital events in DC. Gotta give it to them. 24 hours of this? Cool. But um, l- let me tell y'all some um, overall. Next time, just put the trailers up front. I'm not trying to watch all y'all BS. <laughs> just, put, just put the trailers up front, please. And then y'all can do y'all can do all that other stuff where y'all can pat ourselves on the back. Y'all can do all that stuff later. Um, <laughs> yeah, just give me the trailers up front. But I brought Mr. T with me because we are both comic book fans. Um, I'm more Marvel, but I do love DC and other comic book public- publications. He's more DC. So we both have said on multiple occasions that DC actually is not as bad as everybody thinks they is. They do make mistakes, but then again, everybody does. Yeah. But they're not as bad as people think they are. And actually, I am actually digging, for the most part, what I saw from fandom. So we're going to go through this uh just the movie side of the trailers that I saw, I don't think I think I got all of them because um, there was one trailer that was really a first look. And then there was a little bit of a uh, like a 10 minute little go behind the scenes thing for Suicide Squad. That wasn't really a trailer trailer, but you get the idea. Yeah. But let's start this thing off with Black Adam or as I like to call it, if you smell what the rock is cooking. Um <laughs> So the Black Adam trailer, um, and I like the way they did this. It is a teaser trailer. It is only about a minute and 20 seconds. It's animated, which is like, okay, I, I'm digging this for a teaser trailer. You're not, you're not really, uh, I don't know why they say this, but I'm going to say it now, the spoiling anything, because mm-hmm. there's nothing to really spoil. He's just, it's The Rock giving, okay, I'm going to be honest. The Rock just shot a promo over a teaser trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the end of it. I was waiting for him to say, "If you smell what the Rock is cooking," and then just goes <laughs> into the DC logo. <laughs> right. So I enjoyed what I saw. I know a little bit about the Black Adam character, mm-hmm. um, and it looks like they're playing him as an antihero. Would you say that's a good assessment? Yeah, I mean that's pretty much what he he mostly is. I mean he okay. he has been a, he's a, he has been full on villains. Uh, 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 in the past, and uh, I'm not sure currently what the the strand is for him, but um, yeah. So I mean, that's I mean, he, that's what he is. He's you know, he's like let's go Quillen on Marvel's side. Um, you know, I mean, I, I, I you could say Venom, but to give an, to get an idea, like he's yeah, okay. Obviously, you know. Not a good guy, <laughs> but, but he he's not a he he's do, not a bad guy either. Right, he can't he can't end up doing good things as well, yeah. uh, as as also bad things <laughs> because of his motivations. But yeah, um, I thought it was I I was not I was not expecting that at all for a teaser. Actually, I wasn't really expecting a any kind of teaser at this point. Those so you know I, I don't know when the when is it scheduled to come out next year next summer actually it will come out next summer. Wow. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I wasn't really expecting anything, you know, because of you know the situation going on around the world. Yeah. Today, you know? yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, but yeah, I thought it was awesome. I thought that was very a very cool way to do it. Obviously, you know, Black Adam's a a comic book character, so to have that kind of comic animated thing going, that was pretty cool. Yeah. And plus, like The Rock just knows how to deliver lines. Oh yeah. Yeah. So when he's doing the actual um narration for you're like dude okay i can actually i'm actually interested in seeing what they did to him because if he was a slave and they gave that big dude power that big samoan power (laughs) what did you expect was gonna happen right (laughs) oh we're gonna we want you to free everybody are you sure Mm. all right i'm gonna need a silk shirt my shades and <laughs> <laughs> the uh, WWF championship. <laughs> like what? So yeah. you know, it's um, something I've noticed about Rock's career because you know we're both 
uh, pretty old school as far as action movies and eighties and all that stuff. Um, so, you know, growing up, a lot of us love some Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, right? That was like a yeah. big thing. And the thing about Arnold Schwarzenegger is that his movies were really good in the beginning and they started to suck at the end, but it's the opposite for the rock. Yeah. Uh, you know, I wouldn't say they all sucked in the beginning, but they are not that great in the beginning. And his later movies are what's, you know, his later characters are what, um, or, or the really good stuff. So I find that interesting. I don't know. I, I do too, because like, it's kind of like, in because at the, at the beginning, I would say probably around 2003 or four, when he first started doing it more, mm -hmm. he was, it, it was like, he was trying to get away from the wrestling side, but that's how yeah. we all know him. We, right. nobody calls him Dwayne. They, everybody calls him the rock. He's the rock. He's always going to be the rock. So. Yeah. <laughs> but I think now he's starting to like, okay, he leans for, especially for the action films. He kind of leans into it a little bit more because you see, yeah. like, he starts even in the Fast and the Furious movies, and we we know those are not like Shakespearean films, right? <laughs> but yeah, well, he he leans into that bigger than life because he be killing it with the one liners. He be it sounds like The Rock, like like dude, that's who we want. Yeah, the yeah people, I, I just remember <laughs> being really excited for his earlier movies, and outside of like, what's that one where he was like in the South America the rundown. The, the rundown. The rundown was really good, I thought. Yeah. Um, but outside of that, you know, he does stuff like walking tall and <laughs> you know, and uh uh the tooth fairy and um even like Doom. Doom was a super disappointment because I, I thought maybe that would be the movie where he'd like show his kind of real action shops, but that movie was you know garbage quite, good, quite garbage. So yeah. um, especially the last 10 minutes. Right. <laughs> Boy, that was some some bad pandering there, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, later on is when he he started to pick up yeah. and get better movie roles and stuff. So, um, yeah, I just thought that was interesting. And now he's Black Adam, which is he's perfect. Yeah, he's, he's literally really perfect. perfect to play a Black Black Adam. The, the right so, size and everything. Yeah. Because Black Adam is not a little dude. No, he's he's a big dude. <laughs> yeah, and that's another thing about the Rock. He's actually gotten bigger, <laughs> yeah, which than he was is, before. Unlike I guess Schwarzenegger was huge in the beginning because he used to be yeah. Mister Universe and he used to, you know, he was a bodybuilder. Yeah. Um, but when he got to his action movies, he didn't, you know, he wasn't as big. Yeah. And it's funny because you know the Rock again is is uh, going the other way. He was smaller in the beginning, and now he's like disgusting right now. Yeah. Um, well, he did explain that on a on a uh, interview once. He was like, because when he first started, they wanted him, they didn't want him to have his wrestling frame. Yeah. And so he that's why he looked that's why he lost all that weight. But he said that wasn't him. So yeah. He wasn't having fun. And I'm like, okay, that's when. But see, I think that's when he started veering back into it. like he he started looking at the role he was getting in. Like, okay, this is an action movie. I'm gonna yeah. be the Rock. Like yeah, yeah my, I'm gonna I'm say my name, Dwayne Johnson, on this on this poster. But y'all finna get the rock when I'm in this movie. <laughs> and and once again, we all want to see because we came up with the attitude era. We all want to see the rock. <laughs> yeah, we want to see the rock. That's what I want to see. Yeah, that's what I go. I see like, 80s attitude. Yeah, 80s I, 90s attitude. I want to see. I want to. I want to hear some some one liners. I want to see him laying the smackdown, and that's what I want to see out of an action movie that has the rock in it. Right. I, now, I don't need him to be some great thespian or yeah. anything like that. I just need him to blow stuff up, look cool <laughs> doing it, beat people up, <laughs> yeah. and you know that kind of stuff. And maybe raise people's eyebrow. I don't know. Right. So, but, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, I, I'm actually looking forward to, to to Black Adam. Hopefully, that one doesn't get pushed back either. Um, yeah. Because like right now, it's still shooting for summer. Of uh, from what I understand of 2021, mm -hmm. so I, I'm really hoping because I'm actually looking forward because I I know nothing about this film so <laughs> yeah, i mean depending on the effects because um uh, uh, production is starting to ramp up on movies that got got postponed and whatnot mm -hmm. uh shooting and filming um so in september you're probably going to see a lot of those movies that were postponed i know batman's one of them um yeah. they're going to start filming soon uh so or refilming yes so, they had um, to stop they, they had to stop shang chi had to stop um, yeah they, they were yeah. halfway through it so yeah yeah so uh, depending on the effects, because they can figure, they can film it in time. It's just um, how much effects are in it. Obviously, going to be a decent amount, you know. If you know Black Adam and his yeah. powers and, and whatnot, so 
um, th that's what's going to be the determining factor. But I think people are going to be so happy to be back to work as far as um, visual effects artists and all that stuff that, you know, they've probably already done that because that's the thing you can do at home. You can uh, work on certain things and get them ready at least and then start doing your plugins and whatnot. So um, I'm, sh I'm sure they can have it done in time. Okay. Yeah, because that's what I was thinking. I was like, they probably already did like the parts that they got. They probably already have it somewhat worked on, yeah. so like the director can see it when they get back. Yeah, and, I mean like, they have storyboards. Like. Yeah. As far as effects go, you can you can start rendering stuff, you know, and then put them in, put your plates in over, you know, and then do your touch ups and whatnot once once you get the footage. So that's yeah. the cool thing about effects. Once all you got to do is give those guys a storyboard and say, well, we're yeah, good to go. This. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Okay, so that leads into our next film. Now, uh, uh, look, we'd have made fun of Robert Pattinson before. I know I have. But, uh, his, his <laughs> I don't know if I've ever made fun of him so, I, it, so much of the movie and the character he's played you know, in the movies. But it's, yeah. it's like this. I, I I guess I shouldn't say I made fun of him, but I, the the fact was he he had a horrible agent. I, yeah, his, his agent was terrible. Yeah, so they kept picking him that that BS. So yeah. this movie, the Batman is. He, I'm not gonna lie. This one made like y'all gonna stop making fun of Robert Pattinson about that damn Twilight movie. Yeah. <laughs> and his his other roles he done picked. He's done so many movies since yeah. that. Like, yeah. but that's all people know. Yeah, he's like, look, y'all finna stop making fun of me. God damn it! Yeah. <laughs> if I gotta beat this. Dude is clearly supposed to be a Joker <laughs> villain. I'm gonna beat the hell out of him like I'm Frank yeah. Castle, <laughs> and y'all gonna stop making fun of me. <laughs> so, all right. So I gotta get. I want. I want your thoughts on the Batman because I am not the biggest Batman fan. Because and the reason why I'm not, I think he's a cool character. I mm -hmm. don't like his fans. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> fans I will say I'm very surprised because most people who like DC love Batman. They run right to Batman. So, no, um, I, and I, I'm, I'm not. Know. I'm not uh, shaming you for that. I'm. Yeah. I'm just thinking. Wow, that's. But that's, it, uh, that's it, different. It's his fan base. Yeah, his fan base. <laughs> his fan base. They. They don't. Okay, when you have somebody tell you to your face. Now, I've read comics since I was twelve. When you have somebody come to tell you Batman can beat Darkseid in a fist fight, I'm saying, are you <laughs> out of your mind? <laughs> Yeah, see, I love Batman, but I'm not part of that fan base. I can't stand yeah. those guys either. <laughs> yeah, so they they make me hate him. But I want to get your thoughts on it because they went back to doing something that I that I actually been hoping they would do with the Riddler by making him actually mm. terrifying, making like they him do back in the '80s. <laughs> yeah, making him like a uh, a saw type of yeah character where he's you know he puts you in these traps that will murder you. <laughs> you know, like. And you got to solve that damn real. Solve it or you're dead. You know, yeah. not this kooky, goofy, goofy stuff. Yeah, he ain't no real. incel. He ain't no damn incel, dude. Nah, this dude is freaking insane. Right. So, and he's smarter than you. But he's he a knows. genius at the same time. Yeah. Well, that <laughs> happens a lot. You know, geniuses can be insane. So, yeah, what was your thoughts on it? I love that trailer. Like, <laughs> I had, I didn't expect to like it at all. Um, mm -hmm. Based on, you know, you know, talks about Pattinson's commitment to working out and all that stuff. And um, I don't know. I just wasn't I wasn't sure what we were going to get. And, mm -hmm. you know, we've had so many iterations of Batman at this point. You know, and I love. Uh, uh, Batfleck and I, he didn't get a fair shot, so I was a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. hesitant on Pattinson, uh, not because I know he's a good actor. I knew he could play. Like that, almost you know, uh, on the edge Bruce Wayne character, you know. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't sure he could be Batman. Um, I'm still not not sure about um, you know his Playboy Bruce Wayne. But this is early. This is like second year, I think they said. Yeah, because um, this, ain't, this ain't year one. They did confirm yeah. it's not year one, even though suspiciously looks like year one. <laughs> it looks like year one, but yeah, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's you know that was. But like, then again, it's like, um, Batman is who Bruce Wayne is. B Bruce Wayne, the Playboy, is a character he plays. Yeah. So maybe he just hasn't figured out that character yet. You know, he's still yeah. torn. He's still stuck 
uh, and the vengeance side of Batman because it's still early. So I, I like that if that's where Matt Reeves is going. And, you know, Matt Reeves is a very respectable uh, film director. So um, I, I love the trailer. I didn't think I would love it this much, but you know, when he pummeled that dude, yeah. <laughs> when he said, who are you? And he just pummeled him and then kept hitting him when he was on the ground and done. I'm just sitting there like, looking at these dudes like, why did y'all, clearly this man is insane. Why are y'all doing was, this? I was like, that's Batman. Yeah. That's who Batman's supposed to be. Yeah. Um, and that's, you know, that's what I thought Ben Affleck was so good at. You know, yeah, he, he was, Batman is supposed to, is supposed to terrify the criminals. Right. That's the point. Like they're supposed to be afraid of him. Like I'm about to piss in my pants because he just showed up afraid of him. <laughs> right. Like that, that's the, right. And that's one thing. Like like you said, like um, Ben Affleck did that well. Right. Like yeah, and Christian Bale did that too. And begins. Like I, I think he, you know, in the you know once he became Batman and begins. Yeah. He definitely yeah. had that fear, that terror side too, which yeah. I loved. They didn't have it as much in the later movies. Um, yeah. but that's why I was like, yeah, that's, he's almost unhinged. That's the Batman that you can see why Joker feels like he's his counterpoint, you know, yeah. that's because <laughs> Joker's insane. He's, you know, and, and Batman is also somewhat insane. You know, you don't dress up as a bat, beat people up, you know, jumping off rooftops when you're a billionaire, <laughs> if you're not slightly off your rocker. I mean, um, but he's able to <laughs> channel that, and that's the, you know, that's the hero side. So, I mean, ah, man, the, the Lego Batman movie yeah. said it best that he. Uh, so you have no problem dressing up in a bat suit and beating up mentally <laughs> mentally challenged people. I'm like, Ugh, damn Lego, <laughs> Yo, uh, I had to play that man like that. I mean, yeah, facts. I mean facts, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hashtag facts, but dang. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Oh, dude. We before we go to the next movie, Jeffrey Wright as Jim Gordon did not think I needed that. I need that. Oh, bro! Like <laughs> I was, I have, I can't believe I forgot. Like he's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> like he, his mannerisms. He has the Jim Gordon stash. <laughs> yep. You know, like, the, and, and I love the fact that they showed like you know Batman working with the police around all the police. Yeah, um, you didn't get a whole lot of that, and I don't know how much we're gonna get based on the trailer in this movie either. But um, I they like needed how to show that they needed to yeah, show. Yeah, they that. needed to show that. I like how Jim Gordon jacked them up. He obviously the cops hate him. Yeah, which makes yeah. perfect sense. That's how it should be. And, but um, Jim trusts him. But Jim trusts him, right? And yeah. so, so Jim's kind of in the middle, and he's probably at that moment. Batman was probably about to him up, one yeah. of the cops. <laughs> and he was like, "Yo, man, You're like this, you know." This is not going to work with you beating up my my cops, and I'm yeah. trying to convince them that you're okay and you can't be doing this kind of shit, you know. <laughs> so, I thought it was, uh, yeah, I, I loved his uh, Jim Gordon, and yeah. I think it's going to be. I can't wait to see this movie, man. Now, now, now this is going to get me in trouble because I've been the last few weeks. I have been saying like we need to start keeping these characters as close to their uh, source as possible. And then Jeffrey Wright had to come do this to me to make me look bad. <laughs> so, um, uh, and yeah, shout I mean, out to Colin Farrell too, by the way. Yeah. Before uh, Colin Farrell people, as the Penguin. Yeah, yeah people you don't know, know he's a shot of, of him in this movie, but you don't know that's him. I'm like, I forgot. I'm, and he, he, he's I'm like all Colin Farrell, by the way. Yeah, he, and but I just forgot he was playing the Penguin. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Showed that that one picture, and it was just like him. And like, you know, like, a, I don't know if they dyed his hair white or he was just like, he had a little cane or whatever. And I was like, okay, I guess that's going to work. I hope that works. You, you saw him in the rain. That was totally a troll move yeah. to throw us off from hey. the prosthetics this dude is wearing to look like Oswald. Like, wow. Yeah, so, uh, oh, and Catwoman is in here, but this is pre her actually yeah. having a suit. And well, I'm like, complaining about her. So I'm like, yo, she's like early Catwoman. She's she's early cat. That's, what I'm saying. That's how we know this is year one. Like, yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, she was active when Batman first started. Yeah. But she didn't have a suit yet. No. <laughs> so <laughs> she was just a cat burglar. But, you know, this is from, I think a lot of these complaints aren't coming from comic book fans. They're coming from, mm -hmm. 
fans of Batman who or fans of Batman movies, you know. Yeah, so I they think that's what everybody be full suited up, you know, all the time. And it's like, yeah. no, nah, that's y'all need to go back and read year one. <laughs> right. <laughs> I just need to go back and read year one because I, I know they said that's not what it's taken from, but I'm like, Matt, come on, dude. Yeah, so, I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> it's like JJ saying, uh, this isn't Wrath of Khan again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> not lying, bro. <laughs> yeah. We got in that movie theater. We were mad as hell. <laughs> I'm like, the first 10 minutes. Come right on. Now, this dude really? is Khan, really? man. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. um, All right. So moving right along, uh, Suicide Squad teaser. Now, this is the one where it wasn't really a teaser, more of a first look, but they said it was a teaser. So behind the scenes, kind of. Yeah. So but now if you guys don't know, yes, James Gunn is directing this. So my question to you is where the hell is Rocket Raccoon? But (laughs) (laughs) that being said, um, they have a lot of characters in here, which means half of that cast is dying. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> that happened in the first Suicide yeah. Squad movie. Well, so. but it wasn't, it wasn't that. Like it was like, no. two, you're like, okay, but this one, oh, I know half of them. Pete Davidson dying, John yeah. Cena dying. <laughs> yeah, I'm, what about I'm, Polka, Polka Dot? Polka Dot, he's di- oh, he's gonna die horrible death. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like so many people, you like, oh, I know y'all not making it out this film. No, there is no way with James Gunn directed. Oh, he's gonna kill y'all in hilarious ways. Super <laughs> obscure Polka. I'm like. Yeah, I'm like, okay, why did they get him? That's like, oh. super obscure. Like, you gotta be uh, a, a straight oh, gonna kill him. head to know Polka Dot. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, they gonna kill him. They gonna kill him. <laughs> oh, he's dead. He's so dead. Oh, he so dead. <laughs> then the John Cena character. You realize like, that he is the dude from uh, Dark Knight, the one oh. that was dur- during the, um, the the assassination attempt on the mayor. Yeah. yeah, he was the guy that Dent had in the in the back of the truck interrogating him and stuff. That's the guy playing. That is him. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it right away. I was like, wait a minute. That's dude from and also, Dark also, he's from the Ant Man series. He's um with oh, T. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <Michael Peter. laughs> They're part of the, the three wombats. That's right. I forgot that. I forgot that too. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he's dead. So um, yeah, he's so dead. <laughs> uh John Cena dead. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super dead. <laughs> like his costume made me like, oh, they gonna kill him. Oh yeah. Oh, they gonna kill him. <laughs> oh, J- oh, James Gunn. I know you having fun with this. Oh, oh James Gunn like- having a- he's having a blast. <laughs> yeah, but I d- I will say this. I do like you just able being there. I don't know anything about this blood sport character. Do you know? Is, uh, is that like a seventies character or something? I believe I believe he was like early eighties. Okay. Um. Maybe late seventies. I can't remember exactly. I re- I don't really know a lot, a lot about him either. I had meant to look him up, but I forgot. I thought he was Sportsmaster. That's who I thought he was. But then, oh, first, then yeah. But then when they showed the thing on the on the the behind the scene thing, I'm like, bless one. Like, who the hell is that? Yeah. Um, but I do like that they put Harley in the actual Harley Quinn suit. Yes. Instead of the shorts, because I don't I don't want women looking at me in the theater asking because I had two women in the Suicide Squad, the original one, look at me in the theater and ask me, is is it me or is her shorts keep riding up? I'm like, they're, they're riding yeah, up. like it was funny because they wanted her to wear those again. Yeah. And you know, she didn't want to wear them. I'm like, <laughs> I didn't want her to wear them because I'm like, that's not Harley. Yeah. I'm like, that's not Harley. I mean yeah. eh, it's Harley. Mm. Kind of sometimes, you know, yeah. very minimal. It's um, not like people act like she walks around like that. No, she does. No, like, no, no, no. She does not do that. Nuh-uh. No, no. Nah. I mean, I'm gonna be straight up 100. percent She don't do that all the time. Sometimes no. she does, but yeah, not yeah. like it's, if she's pretty rare. Yeah, like it's the like the two times I, that I read it in the comments, she did it one time when she was messing with um Nightwing, mm-hmm. where she was basically she was basically like just. Fucking with him to see if she see if he was gonna take the bait. Yeah. And the other time was because if you read the Suicide Squad comic, you know her and um Deadshot are, are cut buddies. Yeah. So when she wants some male attention, she usually goes to <laughs> Deadshot and Deadshot break off. I mean, that's yeah. just that's that's action from the comic. So, yeah, that's, that's that's straight from the comic. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the only two times I know that she wears stuff like that because. That stuff don't work on Joker, right? So she wasn't gonna be waiting around him. No. So, <laughs> I mean, so I mean, it was appropriate that she rocked that in the first one because you know, yeah, uh, 
Deadshot was up in there. Yeah, Deadshot was there, but to for, me, uh, I was just like, okay. Will Smith. <laughs> Yeah, we ain't gonna go into that. It's gonna be a miss the button. But yeah, um, I, I like that they actually showed her in the actual Harlequin suit. From, yeah, I love that. Yeah, I, I like that because I'm like, that, I okay, don't yeah. like the hair though. No, I don't. I'm not feeling it. I don't it. like the long pigtails or whatever. Yeah, else. I know they tried to rock that, they still trying to rock that, but that's one of those things that it kind of looks better drawn out, but not because it doesn't, you, it, it blends in with her. Her, her fit so it's hard yeah. to even see I'm like, i thought she had short hair for a minute that, like, that's what oh, i did too because the way they came the, the way they had the camera spinning around when they showed that scene when she was in yeah. it i was like okay i couldn't then when they go back to it i'm like oh okay that's what did. yeah it was hard to see her hair because it blended in with her uniform yeah so, so uh, i'm actually looking forward to it i just know that all those characters in there i'm like uh 10 of y'all are dying off top yeah well <laughs> off sure. top so I'm pretty sure King Shark's gonna live, but yeah, everybody else. Yeah, King die. Shark will probably will definitely live. I think. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I'm not worried about this movie. Oh, James mm -hmm. Gunn. I love James Gunn from, all the way back to Tromaville. So yeah. Um, I and know it's incompetent writing hands and directing hands. Obviously, he's and proven you himself. know he helped write it. You know he ain't for oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, 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 love, I, I, I love James Gunn dialogue. I love yeah. it. So. so you know that if they had somebody writing, he's punching it up himself. Oh yeah, he he's ain't definitely. Fitter. Yeah. <laughs> nah, From what I hear, though, he's the writer, so you know that's good. That's yeah. that's extra good. So, um, yeah, I am actually looking forward to Suicide Squad. We're probably gonna have to have like a a death pool to see which characters we think are gonna die before it come out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going into that film to see people get murdered. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I was like, there's too many characters. I'm like, oh, I know James Gunn from the kid. Ain't but like four people making it out that movie alive. Yeah. <laughs> that I go think. with them. <laughs> Have they talked about who the main villain is? Or I kind of got an idea. In the game, we know who it is, but. In the game, we know who it is, but in the movie, it's. The rumor is it's Starro. Okay. So that's going to be interesting. Cause, that's going to be interesting, yeah. Because Starro is an alien parasite, but like, how are they going to? Are they going to do it like, um, what's that move like, Little Shop of Horrors, where I was going to say a bunch of them and they take it's it over almost people. perfect because James Gunn has done a movie with alien parasites before. Yep, Slither. Oh, Slither. So <laughs> if they go oh. that route, my God, I'm gonna be in love with this movie. And the funny thing about it is Nathan Fillion is in this movie. Oh, Nathan Fillion is in That's true. I need which to means he's probably going to die. Oh, my God. He's totally dead. <laughs> <laughs> even though, even though I have to say, like, in the animated films, he does do a good Hal Jordan. Oh, he's great. Yeah. He does do a good Hal Jordan. But, yeah. Oh, he's dead in this movie. Yeah. Oh, he's so dead. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm actually I, was, I hate it. the fact that he hasn't gotten that big role, you know? Well, he's such if a they, good actor. If Sony would get their head out of their behinds and stop trying to go young Nathan Drake and just do grown Nathan Drake like him yeah, and his like, homeboy did that fifteen minute um vi uh uh side story they did on YouTube, yeah. Like, <laughs> does he look old? No, he looks no. great. Like you can do you can do three uncharted movies with this guy, no problem. Uh, excuse yeah. me, uh, we got eighty year old Indiana Jones running around. So yeah, <laughs> I'm like, like come on. I, I thought he it was be Drake. They screwed up. They're talking. Who was supposed to be Mark Wahlberg? No, nah, they still going with Tom Holland. They doing young. They're oh, not they doing, doing young. Yeah, I they're thought he was just going to be like the young version of. Mm -mm. They're doing a completely oh, young. Movie. I don't want to see that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was interested like, somewhat when they talk of Mark Wahlberg, but he was, you know, he's not. Well, he's, he's not Nathan Drake at all. He's, Nathan, he's, Dylan he's, is Nathan Drake. Yeah, I mean the problem is if Nathan Fillion would have never put that that short out, yeah, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> but with I that short before though, like, <laughs> but that short sealed it. The short sealed it. Oh yeah, the short definitely sealed it. But I wanted him before that. It's so I, yeah, but for the purposes of this, he's gonna die. So <laughs> yeah, he, he's done. Yeah, he didn't die in Slither though. He was the main character. So that's how that's how I know he's gonna die. <laughs> So you, they set you up, huh? They think make you think, oh, he's gonna be all right. Yeah, he's gonna live. No, he ain't. Nah, <laughs> no, he ain't. <laughs> no, no, dude. I swear, dude, like, when they showed the, the little teaser, I swear it's like 20 characters from DC in there. I'm like, y'all yeah. ain't making it out of this. This is James Gunn. Y'all not making it out. 
Y'all are not making it out. I don't know what he told y'all to convince y'all to come in, but some of y'all ain't making it out of the credits. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just going to be honest. Yeah. Some of y'all yeah, are not right. making it out of the credits <laughs> sequence. <laughs> so, uh, 100%. Yeah, I, I will be carrying my um, death pool into the theater with me when I go watch that film. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just so I can check off and make sure I got everybody that I think going to die in there. All right. <laughs> so, all right. So let's uh, get to uh, Wonder Woman. All right. So the I, I don't know if this is the final trailer or not. They didn't say. Uh, but we did get a Wonder Woman trailer. And now they finally show. Well, they called it a trailer, too. So I'm guessing they're not thinking final. Okay. Well, because it got pushed back twice. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But I think if they, if they thought this was going to be the final, they'd call it final trailer. Oh, okay. I think they, I think they have one more, you know, which makes sense because the movie comes out in what, October? Uh, October, yeah, I think it's October now, yeah, because it's supposed to be yeah. this month. And yeah. then what, nobody going to be open, so they pushed it back to October. I think it comes out, like, right before Black Widow comes out. Yeah, so there's time, there's enough time to where you might want to put out another trailer. So, yeah, I think they'll have at least at least one more. Yeah. Well, I have to say, I have to give them um, props. Um, I wasn't sold on the whole 1984 vibe. I'm kind of over the whole period piece. Um, I'm over the whole period piece superhero movies period now. Period. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm over that now. Um, Because it's going to be jarring when they do Justice League and she had to go back into the, you know what I'm saying? It's just going to be jarring. So, um, but I had to give them props for. uh, Cheetah, because Kristen Wiig, I was wondering like how they were gonna do her because actually, the the character of Barbara Minerva is very tragic because yeah. she is really a nice person. She is, like, yeah. You you don't you don't hate her. It's gonna be like, hard for me. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, all right, I, I don't hate Minerva as it is, and now yeah. you're gonna give me Kristen Wiig as her. Like I can't. <laughs> that's perfect I casting, can't hate her at all. Like that, that's that's perfect casting. I love it's, Kristen Wiig. And Kristen Wiig's gonna be funny. Yeah, so that's gonna that's gonna endear you to her anyway, <laughs> right? So and maybe that's the point, though. Maybe the point is obviously in the in the comics you feel for her. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be tragic as well because you you got that shot where she's like Barbara, what have you done? Yeah, because um, when she gets the full curse, she becomes yeah full yeah. So it's like that's kind of sad. <laughs> yeah. It's so sad, and it reminds me of the comics. So Which, maybe that's gonna work that way. Uh, I'm wondering how they're gonna play this, like, uh, because like in the comics, like she, when she when she returns to Barbara, her and Diana are actually really good friends. Yeah. But when that curse hits, she definitely tries to rip out Diana's throat. Right. <laughs> so I'm wondering how this is gonna work because once again, when I read when I when I read her stuff in the comics, I was always like, man, Barbara is actually cool. I wouldn't mind hanging with Barbara. Yeah, she's great. Like, actually, like, yeah, she's a little bit introverted, but she's not like. I like that about her, though. <laughs> but she's not like. She, it's not like she's like. She's actually a, a cool person. They made her character a character you would like spending time with. She has depth. She's just not raw. Yeah. I'm evil. Yeah. yeah, and the the whole thing was she. Yeah, she does have a little bit of a confidence issue, but yeah. it wasn't like like she was you no know, crazy. It's just unfortunate. Right. <laughs> so. I'm actually kind of a little bit like on the, so I'm wondering if they're going with the whole jealousy side, like if the whole Chris Pine coming back, which I'm interested to see how they pull that off. Um, since he got blown the hell up in the first one. Right. Spoiler alert for a three-year-old movie. But <laughs> um, I'm, I'm wondering if it's going to be on the jealousy side where she's like, okay, she's seeing Diana get all this stuff and she wants uh, love and uh, respect and all that and that what cause I'm probably sure that's probably where they're gonna go with it. Um but yeah I'm actually all in for it. Plus they got my favorite Game of Thrones character as the villain in here. So <laughs> you know oh yeah <laughs> hey Pedro Pascal man the only thing is that he looks weird as Maxwell Lord because he, he it's clear they, they put that that wig on him. Yeah like y'all should have just had him be himself man because <laughs> right. I don't, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no, he looks I will stupid. say I liked him better in these trailers than, than the first the one. Original. Yeah. Yeah. Because the original one, it just looked, it, I think the original was too, had too much synthesized music in it. Yeah. Doom, day, doom, day, doom, day, yeah, doom, I'm like, day. nah, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. Right, you get it. It's the 80s. I got you. Yeah, okay. 80s pastel <laughs> colors. All right, come on. Like, the only thing y'all need now is Don Johnson and Philip Michael Thomas. So, <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't be but, surprised. Yeah. You get them walking around in the yeah, background. They in this movie, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, I, it's I, in a Miami Vice commercial or something, and then I would be very surprised. They better be either that or Dynasty. Oh, Dynasty, yeah, Dynasty would be actually kind of perfect, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> so at some point, we got to see a, a commercial for some of that stuff, like, yeah, it, it's just you, you kind of have to, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually, once again, I'm looking forward to this one just because I want to see how they do it. Um, I'm still kind of worried that she's not flying. Yeah, she knows how to fly. So I do like the riding the lightning, though. The riding the lightning is cool. She did some some flying in her in the first movie. Yeah, but uh, but it wasn't flying; it was more like floating. Yeah, I want to see her actually fly because that's what she can do. She can fly. So. Yeah, <laughs> she can actually fly. Um, also, I was so weird that she had a jet. I was like, why does she have a jet? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because that, that never made sense to me. But it was the whatever. Most corniest thing ever. <laughs> corniest thing ever. Um, but I guess I, they're going to make fun of it in this movie, too, though. They better, because yeah. that's stupid. That's what, supposedly, that's what they're in, that scene. Oh, was that, uh, yeah. Okay. The well, that, that in. Yeah, well, I mean, please, uh, by all yeah. means, make fun of that. So, <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be a nice little joke. Yeah. About so, the, do you think we're going to see Zeus in this? Since she's riding the lightning bolts, I don't know if we'll actually see him, but he's gonna help I'm out. Sure I want to see him, um, but he's gonna help out. Yeah, basically. he's definitely gonna be like, I-, I want it to be where she's obviously talking to him or she's you know channeling him somehow. Yeah, um, but I don't want like a booming voice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 you no know, figure. Um, you know, not you know, you can do some kind of thing in the clouds or whatever where you kind of see a face. Make it I'd subtle. Cool with that. Yeah. Just go with the subtlety. Yeah. 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 Because I think they botched Aries when they did that. Because, like, yeah. you know, the Aries thing was a. Because, first of all, y'all got the dude from Harry Potter, and nobody believed he was like, terrifying yeah, was at my, all. That was my main problem. <laughs> I could rock with Aries if it wasn't that guy. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, he was not menacing whatsoever. He was just... and, and, and the fact that he got punked out in Harry Potter did not help. <laughs> Right, like I can also I kept seeing with Harry Potter the whole yeah. time. I'm like, <laughs> like, no. dude, come on, man. <laughs> so yeah, I, know, uh, I mean, it, it was a good fake out, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, it was, it was a great fake I was out. Surprised but... that it was him, but then was like, oh, it's him. Like, yeah, <laughs> Jerry, uh, and I'm nobody not, bought it. <laughs> no, I'm not buying this. Sorry. Yeah, but I will say, I am still looking forward to this one. Um, it's going to be interesting. Hopefully, it doesn't get pushed back anymore. Um, because at this point, if it gets pushed back again, I think DC is just gonna have to do pull a Disney Plus and be like, "Look, we're gonna have to put this on our platform and in select theaters." We're just gonna have to do it like that because I I don't see a way that with the pandemic happening, because you're not gonna make the money. Let's let's just break this down right now. You're not. They're not gonna make no billion dollars the way this is going. No, this ain't happening. So. The days of this, of everybody going to your theater and you getting a billion dollars in two weekends, that's not happening. No. <laughs> that's not, not happening. So, so you have to look next year for that stuff. Hopefully. Yeah, because <laughs> it, even if they do, because like I know AMC around here, they're talking about opening, but at 20% capacity, which means you're not getting, you ain't getting that much. No. So, so that means if you were going to have a $100 million weekend, you the most need. you're going to get is, and this is being very, you nice, know, generous. generous. It's yeah. twenty million. Yeah, and that is not terrible good. unless you're a rom com. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like so. so like Tenant, I I I know I why Christopher so bad for Tenant. Like, yeah, I know why Christopher Nolan wanted to do it, but uh, bruh, they're not opening the full capacity. So, I would have had zero problem with you pushing that movie back to next year. Yeah, like just if, just call this year wrap. A yeah. lot of these, a lot of these companies, you, you just need to call it a wrap. Like I know it's hard, you're struggling, but you're gonna hurt yourself more than you're gonna help yourselves. Yeah, you're selling your movie. You know? You're not getting that much money back. You're not. Right. It's just, I mean, it's not worth it. I, I, I don't think it's worth it. Make your money next year, because you know the schedule is up in the air next year. You can get your movie in there, yeah. and you know. I mean, to be honest, the only companies I could think of that could pull this off is Universal and Disney. Yeah. And, and Disney already said they're gonna do that because they are they're gonna test the waters with Mulan. And I promise you, if stuff jump off again, uh Black Widow going on there, 
Uh, <laughs> yeah. Shang Chi gonna go on. It's gonna be both. It's gonna be on demand on Disney Plus. You're gonna pay your know, however much that that twenty nine ninety nine if you want to watch it at home. And we're gonna have it in limited runs in theaters. I mean, that's the yeah, smart play. Black Widow, like how how well was that movie gonna do? I, I mean, they, I thought it was gonna do okay. Yeah, but, but I, I ain't gonna do. I no think Black like, it's probably gonna do a little bit better than Ant Man. Yeah, it ain't gonna do no Black Panther numbers. I know that. No, no, it it ain't do and the damn sure ain't doing no um, Infinity War and Endgame numbers. Right, and it's it's no fault to you just said it. It's no fault to the movie because you had Infinity War and Endgame. So all yeah. the fervor of building up to those two movies is gone now. It's a standalone. It's a standalone movie. It yes. has nothing to do with that. So it's just like, you know, I don't know if the fanfare is going to be there for that and movie to begin as with. Much, so. As much as I like Widow, um, she one of them characters like Gambit. Yeah, that don't really need her. She works better with her with a team. I'm yeah, just being honest. She works better as part of the team or, you know, teamed up with somebody. That's why I was so glad the Gambit movie never got made. because I'm like, y'all finna be mad. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you, you talked about that before. Like, they only got two good game stories. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they only got two. And one of them, I know they ain't gonna do because it's it's about God and, and Hollywood don't like. They're doing not doing that. that. Yeah, yeah, so they would have to do thieves and assassins. So thieves and assassins would be the one. And yeah. you know, again, like you guys have the perfect casting, mm -hmm. which they didn't have. <laughs> they did not have. You know, apparently the perfect they, script. Which they did not have. Or they didn't have either. Because uh, so, fifty, because like ten directors said no. <laughs> yeah. So you know they didn't have that. Yeah. Um, it was just going to be bad from the beginning, and it was a good thing that they just ended it and walked away. Yeah, because that 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 was a smart play. So that's why I'm like I'm wondering if if because uh, HBO Max is not bad, despite what people want to. I like. I hate the fact that it's not on Roku or yeah. or. Or Chromecast yet? Because yeah, like I, that, that annoys me because I have to turn my computer on to watch it. Well, because I got mine going through my Xbox, so I mean that's how I'm watching it. So yeah, I, I you know it's funny. I didn't even realize there was an app for it on Xbox. Yeah, it's an app on Xbox. It's an app but on I, PlayStation. Just told me, I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, so I, I, that's how it. I watch it. Um, but uh, it's not as bad as people think it is. Because I, I'm gonna be honest with you, the only reason why I got HBO Max is because of Boondocks is supposed to be showing a return um thing and then season uh was it five i think it's supposed to drop yeah uh this year so that's why i got it for boondocks but um it's not bad so i know if if it comes down to it dc can still they can still do this and salvage wonder woman if another if, if it gets bad again yeah if it gets bad again that's that's I just how they're gonna that, have to do it i and i think I, and the funny thing uh, not funny but the weird thing is i think october is probably gonna be the month it starts going back up again. Yeah, you're gonna start hitting flu season, mm -hmm. and boy, that's gonna be whoo. So um, how it's like? How are you even gonna be able to tell the difference on some of this stuff when it comes to flu or coronavirus? Like it's just it, well, one of them deals with your lungs, the other one don't. So you yeah, just have to you have to wait. But, <laughs> but the thing is, I, I you know I, I'm, my kids aren't in school because I'm doing digital learning with them. Um, Smart man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> They, but the thing is, is, like, you know, you go to the school for materials and whatnot, um, and they have the, what do you call it, the, the temperature thing, that, you know, the little mm -hmm. laser that you take, they take your temperature with. You can't do that anymore when flu season hits because everybody's yeah. going to have a temperature. Yeah, everybody you know? is. That's so not going like, to. That's no. not going to be a, a viable, quick thing to see if, you know, somebody's sick yeah. uh, that yeah. way. So I think we're going to have an uptick for sure. Yeah. Yeah, so around late October. Yeah, that's why I was like, I, I think this is just. A, I think the smart play for everybody is to be honest. If you are, if you are trying to have a big film, your smart play is do theater, but also do on demand that same week. Right. And just be like, look, charge them right. twenty dollars and just charge to the game. Y'all got I it for forty eight hours. Uh, they're doing. They, they made a deal to do two weeks or something like that, and then on demand. Yeah, so that's 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 pretty good. Yeah, that's why I'm like, that's I, that's why I didn't get mad when Disney said they were doing Mulan like that because I'm like, dude, you got to get it out. Yeah. Um, but it's no, I want to see Mulan in the theater. Yeah. But I'm not gonna risk it, you know. Like, yeah, it's not to be completely honest because I I want to see the Shaw Brothers version of Mulan, not the, you know, the Shaw Brothers version of what we getting. 
we're not getting yeah. the, the the shot for shot remake of the cartoon, which I'm glad we're not. Right. But I, I'm we're getting the actual story version from Chinese folklore, which thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So <laughs> seriously. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing that, but I didn't get upset because I understood where Disney was coming from. Like, look, man. We're gonna charge y'all thirty dollars. People was complaining about it. I'm like, dude, think about it. If you got kids and a wife, you are not spending thirty dollars yeah. to watch that movie. You're spending like you eighty. When you go, come on, that's a that's a discount, bro. Yeah. So you get to stay at home. You get it for like forty eight hours. You only spend thirty dollars. You buy you two pizzas yeah. from um, you have people from Domino's. Yeah, <laughs> from Domino's, two for seven dollars, and you good to go. Right. So, so it comes out like cheaper. Too. Acting like that's too expensive. You you haven't been to the movie theaters. Yeah, like, you really uh, haven't. I I go by myself, and like a movie like Mulan, I probably would have went to, and watched it in D box, which would have been even more. Would have came out to be like twenty. If it came out yeah, to be like you go by yourself, you're spending probably twenty something dollars because yeah. you're getting concessions and yeah. So and sometimes I don't get concessions. I just go to the bar and get me a drink. So I'm right. usually spending over thirty dollars anyway because it's twenty five dollars for uh the D box. Then to go get my Cloak and rum, you know, got to get, got to get myself right. Um, right. <laughs> another like eight bucks. I usually do a double, and sometimes I get another shot. But <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, not all the time. But so I'm usually spending over thirty anyway. So I'm like, yeah, I'm that. That'll be a table. Oh, if you complain about that price, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't. If you ever go to the so, movies? So. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. That's why I think Warner Brothers, if if because I think it's gonna happen, and I think Warner Brothers is gonna see, like, okay, look, Disney did it. They, it was able to work for them. We're gonna do the same thing. We'll give Wonder Woman out here for two weeks in the theaters, and then we're just gonna put it on um, HBO Max. Yeah, on, on demand. And why not? Because yeah. you just launch HBO Max. That's just another way to get, to get people, people to watch. Because mm -hmm. Wonder Woman is gonna make Wonder Woman is gonna get people to watch. And there's a lot of great content on HBO Max. It yeah. might stay. You never know. Yeah. They, they might. So now that we talk about HBO Max, the the, the the one I say the best for last. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That Snyder Cut, baby. The oh boy. Snyder Cut. Yes, y'all have wanted it. Y'all saw how horrible Dark Side looked. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Dark Side look that bad? But, 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 Steppenwolf and Decide looked great. <laughs> great, yeah. Dark Side, not so much. <laughs> maybe they started running out of the. Maybe start running out of the budget a little bit on Dark Side. I'm like, hey man, I'm like, look, uh, Warner Brothers, can y'all give them another extra fifteen million dollars so they can do this thing? But then again, is that is it's a question of is that early Dark Side? Is that well, even is early that dark, dark Side or early Dark Side? Because early Dark that, Side didn't have a freaking bone in his chest like the Omega. Yeah, I mean, maybe they like a, maybe they just overthought it. It was like, oh, okay, well, let's get the Omega symbol, you know, make it organic. Uh. Uh, I, need to go I understand what you were trying to do there because it maybe it thought it looked cheesy. Yeah, and it's well, a live action movie. I don't know. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all need to go see the Omega Sci Fi Fraternity to <laughs> right. I mean, they, over, they, they definitely overthought it, but yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Again, that, I'm, that I'm super happy to have this movie to begin yeah. with. So that, that happens. Um, and people, but those I, are jokes. Right? Well, those how are much jokes. is he gonna actually be in the movie? That's another thing. So, I don't think he's gonna be in it that much because of the simple fact that the, the part they showed him at is the part where Steppenwolf is in the past. Right. So I and don't Steppenwolf think Steppenwolf did that, right? Yeah. In the original, in the in the 2017 movie, that they made it. Steppenwolf yeah, did and, that. And, and, Theatrical release. Steppenwolf is the one who slammed the uh, axe yeah. or whatever to the ground. And in this one, it look it clearly looks like Dark Side. So yeah, it's Dark Side. I'm like, okay, this is gonna. That's be what I'm saying. Like again, because that was in the past. That was yeah. the previous war the previous on Earth. War, yeah. Um, that he did it. So maybe today's uh, uh, Dark Side doesn't look like that. Yeah, so that's Hopefully. another that's another hope. You know, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's another hope. And I hope they don't show him. Until the yeah, end don't film. show them. Yeah, don't don't. Yeah, don't, they don't show them again to the end of the film. So right, right. But we are getting the Snyder cut. From what I understand, they're doing it as a series, not as a movie. Thank you again, uh -huh. um, because from what I understand, it's a four-hour cut, yeah, four-part, four-hour uh, mini series, which I yeah, love. So, I love that idea. Yeah, yeah that's a better idea because once again, and me, you have talked about this before. We have seen Zack Snyder movies. We yeah. will not sit through no three plus hours that side of movie. No, 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 no. No, I don't nope. care. I don't care. I'm not sitting through that, dude. The dude does action awesomely. Yeah. You will not be bored. You will be confused by the story. <laughs> to me, he's a 
he's a better um uh Michael Bay. Yeah. You know, in that way where um Michael Bay tends to run off with his, you know, wanna be comedy side. <laughs> yeah. You know, when he does his action. Yeah, when um, he goes way too far with it. But Zack Snyder is much more serious with his action. So um his visuals are, you know, unmatched today. So. Yeah, I mean, Man of Steel. I never knew they was gonna be. I didn't ever think they'd be able to shoot Superman like they needed to, and he found a way to do it. Man, I love so it. So he found a way to do. It. So I was like, okay, I'm actually interested in seeing it. So I'm glad that they said that it was going, it was going to be a series. I'm like, cool. Um, they're putting all the stuff back in, which it needs to be a series if you're going to do the stuff about the characters that we know nothing about, like Cyborg, like you know the flash like they one of the one of the issues that people had a problem with was they didn't spend enough time with the characters we just met like aquaman uh cyborg and flash i'm like yeah because y'all don't have movies introducing them so yeah that was gonna happen um but that's why when he shot a lot of stuff around them yeah um, because he knew that you know he knew that yeah. he was being rushed <laughs> by the studio yeah so he he shot stuff to you know back up basically their origins you know their story yeah which is and great that's why i was like when i first heard they were doing this i'm like they should just do the comic book version of war from the new 52 because in war you didn't know who everybody was they just right. all met the only person like batman knew about superman he heard rumors about the flash yeah he ain't know nobody that was, else that was pretty much it yeah <laughs> Yeah, but they all came together and then they did their stuff outside. Maybe of, that was their idea, but it didn't work. <laughs> it yeah, didn't work correctly. Yeah. So, so I mean, I yes, am I looking forward to this? Yeah, I want to see how they do this. Um, especially with that being uh done into a series as opposed to a film. And when so it's done, you said they're they're going to put it all together, and there might be a black and white version, which I don't really understand. Yeah, I don't need um Ghost of Tsushima. Um, yeah, I don't need a black and white version of <laughs> yeah. Justice League. Like it, it's a comic that's uh, uh, very colorful, so I don't understand. Yeah. Um, Zack Snyder, mm-hmm. your name is not Akira Kurosawa. I'm you don't have to. Watching. I'm not watching. Watching. everything literally dark. You know, like you yeah, know, like, bruh, did you not learn <laughs> <laughs> from Batman versus Superman, dude? We, well, we a lot of people seem to like that idea. I'm like, eh, I don't, we, wow. we like the color palette. <laughs> we like the color palette. Yeah, I want to see color in my comic book movie. So yeah, uh, so I, we, we're gonna see. But I, I thought the trailer, and I know y'all probably thinking I, I hated the trailer. No, I actually liked the trailer. I actually did. Um, I didn't like the the Hallelujah song they did for. I'm like, yeah, I mean, that was like really, bro, really. Yeah, I mean, we going back to Watchmen, like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm and like, that scene and that scene in Watchmen was so awkward because of that song to me. Yeah, and to be honest, we know why you put that song in there, Zack Snyder. Yeah, you know Hallelujah! I got the chance to put my. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> basically, it, Hallelujah! I got a second shot. Doesn't match what you showing what what you're showing us. That just doesn't match it. So, no. uh, yeah, At I'm, least I'm not actually, that version. I think there's version of the Hallelujah that would have worked better, but that version was like yeah. some old country um kind of um somber version of hallelujah yeah so but you know zach snyder like somber so <laughs> it, it works for him <laughs> I, I mean if you're gonna do it might well just get the uh, mississippi mass choir to do it i mean you know like yeah <laughs> you'll just go all out with it but <laughs> um yeah i i enjoyed that trailer um like i said i know who the characters are it's gonna be interesting seeing people who have no idea who the side is yeah, yeah. I, I know good. a lot of people looking at that like, who is this dude? Like, yeah. All right, you're gonna find out hopefully. Yeah, hopefully you'll find out. But um, yeah, I I I don't think the Furies are in here. I hope not. Um, I don't think. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So, but yeah, there's gonna be a lot of characters in there. People gonna be like, who is that? See, that's why y'all should read a comic. So, right. <laughs> that being said, um, I think the the only other reason why I don't liked how dark side looks is because we've already had how thanos looks and you're like bruh yeah you, i can't go back from there <laughs> yeah thanos is nearly you know spot on yeah so i kind of like look, I, I understand it's different artists doing different stuff but y'all need to call over to ilm and be like hey man 
Yeah, I got a couple assets we can borrow. <laughs> yeah, I mean that, that's another thing. That's another reason I don't want to give him too much crap because again, this is Zack Snyder's yeah version, and maybe they didn't render him in his version. Oh, that's okay. something they had to do after the fact, you know, and maybe uh, they just didn't have the budget to go as far as they wanted to go, and that's so that's why I'm kind of giving them a pass. A bit on the Thanos or Thanos. Look at me saying Thanos. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I, I can understand. I'm yeah, I can play. I can understand that, but I can understand that as well. And um, that's why I'm like, if he's in there just for that that flashback sequence, that's fine. Which I think so. I don't think he's yeah. gonna be a major part. I I because I, I, I don't need him to show up. Like, let it still be Steppenwolf. Yeah. Let it still be Steppenwolf. Just. Um, this time I think we're going to get a, a better version of Steppenwolf. The only problem with Steppenwolf is, and I, I had to go back and tell people this, Steppenwolf can't beat Hippolyta. No. So I, I, they, they made him look like he was damn near unstoppable, but he's really right. not. No, no. <laughs> so, like I, I always had a problem with that. Like only Superman could come in and do it. Like no, no not uh, really. Wonder Woman will whack. <laughs> Wonder Woman do like, like Steppenwolf. Like. Aquaman and Wonder Woman wax him in everything yeah. I've read. Like he literally tried to fight Hippolyta. Hippolyta smacked him around like he was a nobody. <laughs> so I'm like, bro, because he they do have stuff where he goes to Themyscira, at, at, poking his chest out, and he yeah. got humble real quick. Yep. <laughs> I'm going home now. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I was like, uh, Steppenwolf ain't that. He ain't like yeah. He could beat up Barry. No, I mean that's, he, that's why I think you know. <laughs> um, oh my God, what's his name? Uh, Dark Side. Uh, no, we just said uh, Vassal. Uh, Vassal, yeah, like that's why I think he should have been a part of it as well. Yeah, because it would have made more sense that way uh, with them together being an issue for the Justice yeah. League. Yeah, or either him or have Big Barter show up too. I mean, or Big Barter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because just him by himself, I'm like, no, nah, that's not, uh, that's not yeah. a threat. That's right. a, I, I hate to be that guy, but that's really not a yeah, threat. Yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> you're not wrong. So. Yeah, I mean, it, it. It's just one of those situations. It's kind of like if they were gonna do this, they should have just had. Um, th- here's what I think that that, that I think they would have got it, got it. It would have been. It would have made more sense if they would have had Steppenwolf, Big Barda. Decide and maybe um what's the other fury? Uh Granny Goodness. Granny, yeah. Yeah. Granny. Yeah, have them four show up and do it like that. That way that's what I was gonna say. I wonder if Granny's gonna pop in at any point. Yeah, because at that point, that way you give everybody somebody to fight. And you have right. you have Barry who really doesn't know how to fight, just Right, so he's gonna be somewhat of a liability. <laughs> yeah, but you can have him just saving people because they, they already established in the movie he's scared. Right. So if he's faster than everybody else, just have him save people. Right. And have and just have Batman direct the traffic. Pretty much, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's how I probably would. I wouldn't have just had just Steppenwolf because like, once again, like Steppenwolf ain't shit. I mean, um, <laughs> Step, you know, Steppenwolf. Well, they had Steppenwolf. And you know, cannon fodder, uh, yeah, uh, the parademons, uh, yeah, yeah. parademons. And it was like, oh, okay, that, that's just kind of weak. We already, we already saw you handle the parademons, like, yeah, it, it's like you know, Agent Smith. Oh, Agent Smith again, like, yeah, <laughs> like we, th- th- that wasn't very exciting to see, yeah, or so, or or more recently, um, uh, what's his name, Darth, um, not was, Darth, what's his name, um. Uh, Kylo, Kylo Ren. Kylo, like, oh Kylo yeah, Ren. I'm I'm so I'm so worried for Daisy Ridley. When yeah, so, Kylo Ren again, and, and like, come on, she's already beat him. Like, yeah, twice. like twice. <laughs> like, it's not even like, and not only did she beat him twice, it wasn't even close. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even close. So it's like, are you gonna do this again? Really? Like, I don't okay, third, that. I know it's charm. Going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> third time's charm. All right. Uh, yeah, if you're gonna do it, and then he beats her. Well, whoa. Okay, now we're doing something different. Yeah, but nah, that didn't happen. Oh, no, not even close. <laughs> so, yeah, I am actually looking forward to seeing the Snyder Cut just to see what um, what his vision was. Yeah. Um, hopefully, it makes sense. Hopefully, it's not yeah, um, Sucker yeah, Punch that's, Two. That's the thing. Like, it's, hopefully, it's, it's not Sucker Punch Two. <laughs> no, no, gosh, no. <laughs> like, it's, it was good to see Cyborg. You know, you know, get his backstory, player, all that stuff, the backstory in there. 
back in there again because that was one of the things that really annoyed me. You saw yeah. like cyborg stuff. You saw in the in the yeah. early trailers. Oh and yeah, yes, they did show that in the in the yeah that was the, in the early trailer. That was one, that was the, the first trailer I did. Comic Con trailer, the big yeah. Comic Con trailer. Yeah, and I'm like, and then the movie comes out and none of that stuff's in there. And I was really pissed. Yeah, so Sweden. yeah, we, they, what do they call it? Justice League. I love that. I love you. Love the internet when they do stuff like no, <laughs> Justice League. <laughs> all that stuff came out, and I'm like, if he was acting like that on set, man, yeah. screw him. Dude. What if happened? Was, like, talk about. Fall from grace, <laughs> like everybody loved Joss Whedon. He and then, has done nothing but in the last ten years, but to tarnish his reputation. Yeah, I'm like, bro, you you were acting like that. You need to be smacked uh, if you was acting like that. Control career. yourself, I guess. Yeah, like you you need to have a somebody need to greet you by the hand and have a come to Jesus meeting with you if you was acting like that. Yeah, well, I mean, coming out of uh, Avengers, or yeah, the first Avengers movie, everybody's oh my god, Joss Whedon, only Joss Whedon. Could put those mini characters together and give them all good time and have good dialogue and all that stuff. Only Josh Whedon could do that. So I, I think laughed I when they said that. I laughed you know? when they said that because I was like Peter yeah, Jackson. Yeah, me too. Do that. I was like, he's uh, good. But, too. What, what are you talking you about? Know, <laughs> you know, I like Firefly. He was, you know, he's good. Yeah, putting that stuff together. You know, those those different characters and making making them all sizzle together. That is that is a good trait of his. But he's not the only one that could do that. Like, yeah, he's on. not. No, nah, dude. I mean. It does it help that he used to write Avengers? Yes, yeah, <laughs> but, but I mean, come on, man. That probably helped the, more than anything. <laughs> I'm like, he's not the only talented director in Hollywood. No. Come on, like let's let's stop acting like that. And yeah, I, I think that did happen. I and think I'm it like, went to his head. Yeah, because you start hearing some of these stories, I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of yeah. on on everybody's side that want to see the Zack Snyder cut. Now, just hearing what you did, right? You know that like, whole. That whole gag with uh, oh, the, Flash landing on yeah. Wonder Woman and all that stuff, yeah. and Gal Gadot not wanting to do that, and I'm he like, forced it in anyway, but he used a body double and sh like, yeah, like, that. And, and on top of that, the joke wasn't even that funny. It wasn't even that, yeah, like it, it's one thing if it landed really well, yeah, but, but it wasn't it, even that. Like it was so stupid. Yeah, it was like, dude, okay, and out of place. And on top of that, I'm like, okay, we get that um, this version of Barry Allen is supposed to be kind of semi-autistic right um so i'm like okay but that's not funny yeah that that particularly was not funny yeah so i'm like dude the, the joke doesn't even get it. that in there yeah it, 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 have, you know <laughs> yeah now, yeah now, uh, i will give him credit i will give him credit now when they did it in avengers it, it was funny because it was bruce and it's in the middle of a shootout and we was thinking hope about to jump out right <laughs> So that was like okay, that's kind of funny when yeah, it works for it, that. When it's Black Widow who grabs him, so it's kind of funny. But this this ain't that. Oh, no. <laughs> so no, that's not funny. It, I mean, it, it kind of just shows how you know, uh, not how low the range you actually do have because if you're going back to the well yeah, for that one, hoping that now, was going to work again in this context, no. no. Now, the one that did work was when they did the whole uh Aquaman confessing how hot Gal Gadot yeah, that, that was, was good scene. that worked that was, that, that was what because one is Jason Momoa being Jason Momoa, right? And and people could believe that because right, you're hot and <laughs> that, was, that was good. That was good. I mean, yeah, because I think most men, if they had the last one of them, would say that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that He's was not funny. a bad looking woman, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean that hit the nail on the head. So <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I understand it, but that that other falling that just didn't because I was I watched Just League the other day just to see if I was crazy. Like, yeah, that joke didn't work. Yeah, and then her reaction, you know, because yeah, obviously like, she didn't want to do it. Her reaction yeah. just felt so distant from yeah, you know, and what he like, did, and it was like, what the hell is this? Yeah, that that just yeah, bro. Sometimes you just need to listen to your damn um, actor and just be like, okay, yeah, that's probably not gonna yeah, work. So, yeah, your actors. That's that also yes. makes a good director, not just doing yeah, everything that's... you want to do. Yeah, because you're just doing reshoots, bro. You ain't this ain't your movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. He was trying to make it his movie. Like, oh, I'm I'm gonna show you guys I'm better than Zach. Uh, nah, okay. not really. Not, not really, <laughs> not really. I mean, we did watch Age of Ultron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not forget about that one. 
we did watch Age of Ultron, bro. You ain't better than him. Um, I'm, so, I'm so burnt out. Uh, I can't no, you do ain't, anymore. You ain't burnt out. <laughs> <Your movie. laughs> no. You ain't burnt out. You was tired of uh, Kevin Feige telling you, no, you ain't putting that dumb shit in my movie. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. But, okay, people. That's going to come. That brings us to the end of this fresh take. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know what your favorite part of the DC fandom thing was. I know I left out the gaming trailers. They will be on the Winging It podcast. We're going to cover those on the Winging It podcast. So I didn't want to do the gaming trailers on this one as well. So we'll do the gaming trailers on the Winging It podcast. So just remember to check that out on Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Mr. T, you got anything you want to pimp out before we get out of here? Uh, pretty sp- in these times we're in. So just keep an eye out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, I do have some gameplay on the gaming channel. Please uh go over to there and check that out. I have a let's talk of the uh Avengers beta. Oh god. Mm. Um, uh-huh. yeah. uh, <laughs> that says it all, folks. <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, check that out over on the gaming channel as well. And um, I'll probably have some more gameplays coming up. I'm probably gonna dive back into Astral Chain. Um, I love that game so much. Um, so it is, and so uh, that means platinum. Um, as you get through a beta three sequel, please. And um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just go to the gaming channel. Uh, link is in the description. I hope if I remember to put it in there, I think I will. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> link will be in the description. Uh, check it out, like, share, subscribe, all the other good stuff. And we'll see you guys on the next vid. Peace out. Peace.